Two and two. So now Arietta trying to bounce back from the walk to Lindor, who's having fun with his former rival in high school, Javier Baez. And then a 2 0 count on Napoli. Now it's two and two. You see these guys. <laughs> I would think you got to go here with 2 2 count. Accepting. Uh, they, they were very accepting. They were very accepting. But at the same time, it is, you're kids. So you, <laughs> you freak on each other. Right. Um, and it, it was just fun. They were accepting, and then there were times they would pick on me. But they picked on me when I learned the language. If they picked on me when I didn't know the language, you would have known. Right. <laughs> so I had no idea. It was on them. I, I, could, I didn't care. But if they. When I started to realize, it was obviously when I learned the language. I used to tell them with my little bit of English, I used to tell them, I was like, I'm bilingual. I speak two languages. I'm smarter than you. That's how I always, that's how I always won every conversation. That ends the conversation yeah, right there, that, man. Every time, I'd be like, what? I speak two languages. How many do you speak? Only one. And I just walk away. That was great. He crossed over an imaginary line between shortstop and yeah. second base and then looked at Kipnis as if to say, my bad. That was on your side of the field. And now Kip's going to draw a line. Look at him. He's going from first. That's beautiful. He just drew a line in the sand. Stay on your side of the field. And now Frankie's like, oh, I got to go on the other side of the line because we have the shift on. <laughs> I love seeing guys having fun while they're playing the game. And the uh, conversation is going on. Look at Lindor. Having a little fun at second base. This is what it's all about. I think Lindor is comfortable being in the big leagues. Yeah, it, it suits him. Uh, he's. This is one thing the Cleveland Indians loved about Francisco. You know, it's, it's, it's part of the game. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a leadoff, to get things going. We talked about a week and a half ago about your relationship with Yandy and talking to Tito. How nice is it to see him have a game like this and just see him kind of mm -hmm. bust out? Um, it's fun. It's fun watching him. Uh, we all know he's a really good hitter, he's a patient hitter. And we all know he's got the strength. Uh, I mean, as you can see, we're just waiting where he's going to hit it out, when he's going to start driving the ball. And he's been doing that. He's been hitting the ball a lot harder um, lately. And it's going to be fun. Uh, he'll probably hit 25, 30 every year. Frank, where did that pitch get you? Second at bat. I think somewhere around there. I'm dark. I'm um, Bruce. <laughs> Do you think that they were coming up and in intentionally? I don't think so. Um, it's two strikes. I think he's just trying to get me off the plate. Um, I don't think he was trying to hit me. I think he was trying to hit me. It's okay. He hit me at the right spot. It looked like a lot of guys got hit after that, though. From who? Our team or Dirk? Really? Who got hit? Four total, I think. Raj got hit on a curveball. Um, <laughs> who's the other one that got hit? Good one got hit. Good one on a curveball, curve ball. was it? <laughs> uh, who else got hit? We weren't throwing at each other. If that's what you guys are trying to get to. No, no, it was. I didn't even think about it. Um, and if you're throwing at somebody and you get hit on a curveball, I mean, thank you. <laughs>